What's up everybody? This is William G 5.3 taking over Joel G 7.3 for the day while he's at work. Gonna be installing a five inch exhaust on this 2013 LML Duramax. Back at you with some more banger content for you today. Let's get it rolling, baby. Well, I really wish Joel was here right now so I could use his drill. Okay, it's gonna be boring, so I'll speed it all up for you. I can get to the down pipe right there pretty easily, so I'm just gonna pull them off. The pipe all laid out. I got it pretty much laid out right here. So to take the clamp off, and then there's an 11 millimeter. Damn! Currently raining. I got pretty much most of the exhaust off. So you got all this. We got coming all the way down, all the way down, all the way to the tip. I got the secret weapon we're gonna be using. It's about nine inches and it's in my pants. <laughs> it's a sawzall blade. <laughs> we call this one the Punisher. Nine beats four inches every time. <laughs> After a lot of cussing, got this thing finally off. That's where the def used to go in, I'm guessing. Comment down below if you know what that is or you know what that's for. Got the new down pipe oh. clamped on right there. Now we're about to get the adapter put on to make it go from four to five. Yeah. Wish I had one of those. What? <laughs> Goodbye. To ever getting this thing back off. Oopsies. <laughs> this is the only uh add-on clamp and bracket that the whole thing came with it goes right here the last piece a resistance tip on the um axle dump put this clamp on here those clamp actually add six inches off of an ex like an extended piece all right so what we got to do is add about six inches that makes a difference uh, to get this hooked onto there. So we're going <laughs> 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 This is what we've been working with in the yeah. rain. The back is completely dry. It's been very great working condition here. <laughs> My ass is not soaked. Nelson, how you feeling? Where's he uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm a little, little wet. A little Just wet. a tad bit. Oh my gosh, that thing is so loud.
two problems that I ran into during the installation. The exhaust, as it's going through mid to the front kind of in the truck, it it's hitting, on, it was hitting on the bottom. That's where I was saying, this is the bottom of the, the five inch exhaust. It was hitting this frame right here. Asbestos cloth, it's folded over, there's two sheets. It's right between the basically the clamp and the frame, not going anywhere, it's, it's solid. That's the first issue I ran into. That definitely fixed it and it hasn't rattled since. Second issue I ran into, the second to last hanger, it kept popping out for some reason. I don't know why it was popping out. Whenever it would pop out, the exhaust would tilt down. I think this is the only hanger that actually clamps on to the, the band clamp as you would. This hanger was popping out of here. So what I did is I put this little piece of hose on it, put a hose clamp on there and tighten it down. And it's not going anywhere. Those are all, those are the only two problems I ran into, and everything's worked great since. And as you can tell from the rest of the video, thing sounds amazing. I definitely rec recommend buying one. It's well worth the price. I can promise you that. Oh shit! Oh dude! That thing could have slung back. Yeah. I was careful. <laughs> mud. That shit fires quick. Sand mud. You have to bring that rebar and let me climb out. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, well, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you a little start up real quick. Thing sounds good, boy. Definitely need to buy it, even though this video sucks and Joel's gonna have to edit it all out. <laughs>